Horror Shop Frank Fritz, star of American Pickers, freezing sunken floorboards and a crumbling ceiling are problems for an Illinois antique business. Consumers have voiced complaints on the poor state of the antique store. Frank Fritz Vines is owned by Frank 60 and is located in Savannah, Illinois, 220 miles away from Des Moines. The U.S. Sun received exclusive images of the business, which highlight its poor circumstances while the American Pickers alumni recovers from a stroke he had in July 2022. Frank Fritz finds located in the rear of Hog Dogs, a restaurant and bar. The ceiling paint was visible flaking off in one of the photos. Even the wiring from a hole in the wall are visible. The hardwood planks were shown to be sinking into the earth in another picture. The store's circumstances, particularly the dim lighting and chilly temps, have drawn complaints from customers. On Google reviews, a consumer stated, it was supposed to open at 10 a.m. Another employee said that the antique sales lady was running late and that the lights were out when we arrived. She did let us into the antique sales, but be warned, it's not heated, so if you go in the cold, be ready. The bar did feel kind of groovy, but even at 10.30, wasn't ready for us. There were a good number of genuine antiques available at fair prices, undoubtedly disorganized. One more person said, could use more lights. I was so excited to go, a third person wrote. Up till my arrival, the cost is substantial. Dim lighting, so disheartening. Keep watching for more details. Hi viewers, my name is Elena, welcome to my channel. Like this video and subscribe to our channel, so let's start. Store Dave FIQLTEs Additional images of the store's poor circumstances were published by the U.S. Sun in November. It was hard to view the antiquities within the glass display case in one shot, as it looked to be discolored. Thick cobwebs were seen in the shop's corners in another image. Some antiques even had cobwebs on them. Dust-coated shelves and antiques throughout the store. There were cobwebs on an antique mannequin and on the windowsills just like in images that the U.S. Sun exclusively received in August. Work in progress? Nonetheless, in August, the business made an effort to upgrade by having work done on the buildings outside. The U.S. Sun has fresh images of the November completion of the improvements. The levels above the store have new windows that gave the structure a more contemporary appearance. Yearly sales the annual sales figures of Frank Fritz Vines were formerly reported by the U.S. Sun. The expected yearly sales for Frank Fritz Vines are apparently under $25,000, according to Experience Business Valuation Report. The firm is classified as medium risk with a business credit score of 27. The shop was rated as medium high risk, 4 out of 5, by the Financial Stability Risk Ratings. This indicates a 10% potential risk of severe financial distress within the next 12 months, according to the research. The CONSERVATORSIP of Frank. Frank suffered a stroke in July 2022, which has prevented him from being as active in the company. On August 18, his close friends petitioned for the star's immediate appointment of a temporary conservator and guardian stating that his capacity to make decisions is so impaired. The U.S. Sun was able to obtain conservatorship paperwork that disclosed intentions to renovate the business. The conservator Midwestone Bank filed an initial plan that said, Mr. Fritz is a well-known collector with numerous outbuildings full of valuable collections. The conservator intends to keep things mostly as they are, with the exception of refilling Mr. Fritz's antique store in Savannah, Illinois, as required. The conservator has not yet inventoried those goods. The conservator hopes that Frank will be allowed to continue choosing and setting the price of the things, as he did in the past. Francie now. Frank was left paralyzed following the stroke, but he is now able to walk again, according to a source who previously spoke to the U.S. Sun. With a lengthy road to recovery ahead of him, he continues to get assistance with physical therapy while living in an assisted living facility. 
Frank was unable to communicate verbally or physically, so he has been there. According to a close source of Mike Wolf, Frank's former co-star on the show, he is still in an assisted living facility. The insider went on to claim that although Frank got his verbal back, the star has struggled with improving his mobility. He's had a really hard time getting motivated. The insider asserted, he found the drive to talk, but he's not quite there with the physical therapy. However, according to a second person who is close to Frank's family, he is healing at his own speed. The second insider stated, he's been working really hard to not overdo himself, stress himself out, and honor his health. He's not going overboard or making an effort to impress himself. He is respecting the current state of affairs. For physical treatment, he is only at the assisted living facility. I'm hoping he gets well. I'm confident he will. It appears that Frank is not residing full-time at his Davenport, Iowa farmhouse, as confirmed by the U.S. Sun. Pickers from America In March 2020, Frank made his final appearance on American Pickers. He underwent back surgery while away from the program, but he later fell out with long-standing co-star Mike Wolf. Robbie, Mike's brother, joined Danielle Colby on the show in Frank's place. Despite their disagreement, the two made up over the Memorial Day weekend of 2023 and are still in contact today. Sorry for mistake pronunciation and thanks for full video watching.